I have been working for quite a few years on developing a nutrient management program um, for, for livestock producers in Vermont to write their own nutrient management plan. So essentially in 2006, the state of Vermont required all medium farms to um, have a nutrient management plan to meet the 590 standard, the NRCS 590 standard. And a medium farm would be any uh, farm that had over 200 um, adult livestock. And those farmers um, had started to work with consultants, and it was quite costly. And just like most farmers um, across the country, those farmers wanted to have the ability to write their own nutrient management plan. So they came to me in extension and said, why can't we do this ourselves? And I thought, I don't know. I'm not really sure why you couldn't do it yourself. So that original six, um, or actually eight farms, uh, sat down with me, and we developed a five-week course in which um, if the farmers came every week and then did their homework, by the end of the five weeks, they would have a completed nutrient management plan that would meet the 590 standard and, and state standards as well. Um, and it was great. It was very, very time-consuming because essentially we were using paper, lots of different spreadsheets, uh, good old calculators, and sort of an abacus. We were pretty much in the stone ages, but we didn't have to worry about, you know, uh, any kind of software, really. Um, but we quickly found that it was, you know, Excel was not going to meet the needs, sort of the diverse needs of farms um, in our state or probably any state. So the other thing I noticed was that farms were not keeping very good records. We actually work with our farmers um, every year. We hold an update class, and they come in and uh, update their nutrient management plans and sort of update their records. And farmers were showing up with um, breeding tags and scrap pieces of paper and sometimes nothing uh, with their records. And every time they would show up for class, we would sort of struggle for probably the first 30 or 40 minutes to just get people to be able to turn the computer on, to use the mouse, you know, just a lot of barriers um, with using the computer. And, you know, I don't know when it happened, but one day a light bulb went off um, when somebody's cell phone rang. And, you know, I noticed and began to notice over my time in extension that pretty much every farmer in our class had a cell phone. And that's when I thought, you know, maybe it's time for us to bring record-keeping and nutrient management, right, to a tool that farmers already know how to use. And that's when we um, started to develop Go Crop. So Go Crop today, I've got this, this is sort of the promotional website, is a web application combined with a mobile application. The web application actually allows the farmer to build a nutrient management plan step-by-step -step, um, and maintain that year after year on their farm. The mobile application is actually just used for uh, referring to the plan so they can see what they were supposed to do. And then it's for record keeping. So that's where they actually start to keep track of uh, when they add manure to fields, when they add takes, uh, or at, when they take harvest, um, when they manage pests, and so on and so forth. And so um, it's an integrated tool. The nice thing about it is, um, and especially in places like Vermont, you do not have to have cell service for the mobile app to um, keep records. You can actually keep the records without cell service. And then once you get back into range, you're able to um, upload all your records to the, the mobile application. Um, I, we're supposed to talk about challenges and costs. And, you know, we started off just thinking we were going to make a mobile app, <laughs> and I realized what are we going to do with all the data in it? You know, where is it going to go? And it didn't um, overcome the nutrient management planning piece. So then we actually developed a web app um, to go along with it. So the development costs were actually quite high. And, you know, this is um, a real business management tool. I always kind of think of it as something equivalent to QuickBooks or Quicken or something like that. Um, and, we, you know, we... Well, I mean, it basically costs us about $100,000 to develop it and to get it out onto the market. It's pretty Vermont-specific at this point, and, you know, we're working on version 2 right now to broaden its applicability. 
challenges, man, there were many things I never, ever thought would be a challenge were a challenge. And I think for us, the number one challenge was um, communication with um, our developer and the developer communicating with us. Things that are so day-to-day -day to us are foreign to them, and things that are day-to-day -to, -day to them are foreign to us. And it really um, was difficult at times for us to, to make progress because of that. Having been working on this for, I don't know, probably five years now, I've learned a lot about developing applications, and um, I now know what I would do differently. And I think this has been said you know, throughout the call. It's just sort of the planning process developing storyboards, really being thorough about what it is you want is really important to, um, to get the product that you want, but also to minimize cost and, and development time. Where we're headed with GoCrop right now, again, is that we're um, adding a mapping feature and we're doing some enhancements and trying to scale it out um, so that it'll be more applicable to other states, starting with California, working with some of our partners there. And then we're also um, developing a sister app called GoGlaze. Um, I just was hoping to actually show you the mobile application. It, it's pretty it's pretty cool. It is for iOS devices at this point. And I, I don't really foresee us in the in the short term moving to other types of devices because of the development development cost.